This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, brought to you via YouTube. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to our YouTube page, with the promise in the future that at different times we'll have subjects that are only available to those who subscribe. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. Citywide in Pattaya, storms began before dawn, seeing the railway road very quickly becoming a canal in some places and deep waters on the Sukhumvit. In addition to the usual areas to avoid during heavy storms around the city, the motorway heading into Pattaya has seen aquaplaning and two of the four inbound lanes are closed due to roadworks just inside the toll booth area. This rain front is heading here from the capital and is expected to continue throughout today, Friday. According to Thai media in the capital, the wearing of masks is no longer a legal requirement in Thailand as of last night. Whilst it's likely that many businesses will still ask visitors to wear them, the announcement becomes law as it was posted in the Royal Gazette. The edict refers to the consistent low numbers here for the virus, and as a result, the CCSA, which has overseen the management of virus control, will also be disbanded. Mask wearing becomes a voluntary issue and visiting Thailand now becomes as easy as before the epidemic. The Ministry of Public Health states that those over 60 pregnant or with breathing difficulties should, not must, continue to wear masks and avoid areas where large groups gather. The Department of Medical Science has developed a testing kit for marijuana products that will measure the THC content within 15 minutes on site with the continued advisory that the new laws only approve use of low THC products for medical use in Thailand and not for recreation, it's expected that these kits will be produced in large numbers and issued to authorities, who then will be able to visit retailers and test. The size of a credit card reader. Testing is done by dropping a sample of fluid onto a strip and then feeding it into the machine. These machines, already in global use for other testing, are reported to be very exact in their results. The current legal limit is 0.2% THC, but many are advertising their wares with up to 20%, so 100 times the legal amount. For the bar businesses nationwide, the ganja epidemic is seen as a challenge, as those who smoke are less likely to consume drinks and could see a drop in sales within the entertainment industry, especially in nightclubs. In Padam a 27-year-old has been arrested on charges of luring youngsters into sending photographs of themselves unclad, this in return for the promise of cash. His arrest follows a complaint filed by a local policeman whose 14-year-old daughter fell for the scam that saw her later blackmailed into making videos. Using a fake online personality, the man stored video clips on his work and home computers. This type of crime has become huge globally, following the popularity of mobile phones with teenagers, and parents are warned to check their children's phones regularly. A similar case in Korea some while back resulted in a nationwide network of perverts there being arrested. Monkeypox is not an issue for Thailand, as the current reports all show that despite 10 suspected cases in arrivals here, each turned out to be a form of herpes. To date, as many countries are seeing the virus spread, no cases have been reported in Thailand. And in Surin, when a 26-year-old went to a local school, it wasn't for a lesson. Staff discovered his ex-wife dead in a classroom, and it's assumed that he killed her during a class break when the room was otherwise unoccupied. In an attempt to flee, the errant husband jumped from a second-floor classroom window, then breaking both legs. He then was quickly held and taken for medical treatment under the custody of two police officers. As said at the start of this bulletin, roads are dicey today, and the Met Office promises highs of 30 degrees dropping down to 26, with storms at any time. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.